There had been quite a period where my parents weren't getting along. My father, Jim Robertson, was being quite abusive with my mother and with me. And one day she said to me, sit down, I, I, I need to tell you something. And maybe I should have told you this before, but he's not your real father. What? What do you mean he's not my real father? Probably his real dad, it was a Hebrew gangster. Yeah, they killed him, they shot him on, on Young Street, I think. My mother says, your blood father, his name was Alexander Klegerman. He got killed before you were born. He's Jewish. And she introduced me to the relatives of my blood father, Nady Klegerman and Maury Klegerman. They bring me into their world with tremendous love and affection. I met his uncle who'd been in the penitentiary 10 years. He was a gangster too. Through these relatives of mine, I'm understanding what's been stirring inside of me all this time. They understand vision. They understand ambition. When I told the Klegermans I had musical ambitions, they were like, rock and roll? You don't want to be in furs and diamonds? You want to be in the... And then they were like, oh, you mean show business. I was born in Toronto, but my mother was born and raised in Six Nations, so we went back and forth to see the relatives all the time. And every time we went back, Everybody in the family, it seemed to me, played an instrument. Everybody played an instrument or sang or danced. Because it wasn't like a lot of entertainment coming through town back then. We had to provide our own entertainment. And so that's what made me say, I want to be in this club. I want to play music too. That's where it all started for me. And so my cousins and uncles and aunts and everybody started showing me some little musical things and they really kind of tutored me into finding out whether I had any, you know, talent for, for this whatsoever. There was that. And then the other side of it was the storytellers. That was another thing that really pushed a button for me, that when the elders would speak, it just gave me chills. I thought, I want to be able to tell stories like that. I want to just, I want to be part of this thing. All right, let's open this baby up. I'm jealous to see if it, uh, if it all worked out just the way I wanted. Uh, we did a, a lot of things in regard to this package. Uh, so I'm, yeah. Excited to see that it really looks beautiful. Uh, so I really like the outside of this package. I know it sounds good because we worked so hard. Bob Claremont did an amazing job, but the idea on this particular record, unlike anything I've ever done before, of coming back to it. And, and completely starting all over again, really addressing it like you would address it today. Nothing to do with then, this is now. And uh, I just love the way it turned out. And we took a lot of liberty with the music too, the way the instruments are used, the sound of the instruments. And it's, it's like a new experience to me completely. This was a trip when we did this picture with Richard Avedon. So he was setting up, he, he arranges all of this order like this, and then he was setting up, and he set off his flap, and it made everybody blink. But it was so quick, the flap, that, and he said, whoa, wait a minute, um, I want to take a picture of that. And, and then he just had us, he said, do like when you, the flash went off, just close your eyes. And he took the picture, uh, just like that.
welcome you to my channel and I'm here to sadly announce to you the passing of the Canadian iconic guitarist, songwriter and singer Robbie Robertson, renowned as the leader of the influential Canadian American band called The Band, has passed away at the age of 80. According to an announcement from his management, Robertson passed away on Wednesday in Los Angeles after a long illness. Robertson's manager of 34 years, Gerard Levine, said in a statement that Robbie was surrounded by his family at the time of his death, including his wife Janet, his ex-wife Dominique and her partner Nicholas, his children Alexandra, Sebastian, Delphine and Delphine's partner Kenny. He is also survived by all his grandchildren. Robbie was born in Toronto on July 5, 1943. His mother was a member of the Mohawk Indian tribe. His biological father, a Jewish gambler named Alexander Klegerman, was killed in a highway accident before he was born. Robbie only learned belatedly that James Robertson, whom his mother had married when she was pregnant, was not his real father. The most recent tweet from his account was posted just a day before his death, showing a humorous photo of himself with Garth Hudson, now the last surviving member of the band. My prayers are with his family, friends and fans. May his soul rest in peace.